Hello lovelies! Today let's make these potato corn dogs. We're making something slightly different but it's still yummy, so let's go! Begin by boiling 600 grams of potatoes until nice and soft. Drain and set them aside. While they're still hot, mash them until smooth. Add half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper and mix it through once more. Once it's nice and smooth, you just want to set it aside to cool down. And in the meantime, we're going to make scores in about five sausages. I use large sausages, you can use mini sausages, and then just make around 12 corn dogs. See how it's done by making diagonal scores only on the surface of the sausage. Do not go all the way down to the middle. And then turn the sausage and cut in the opposite direction. You'll end up getting like a crisscross, cross hatch design. You want to do the same with the rest of the sausages. At this point, we're going to poke holes in the middle of the sausage with a skewer. The skewer only needs to go around three quarters of the way through. You can remove the skewers and then do the same with the rest of the sausages. In a pan, we're going to heat two tablespoons of oil and fry the sausages on all sides for around two to three minutes until nice and golden. This ensures that when we actually fry the corn dogs, they'll be cooked all the way through. If you guys are new to the channel, then welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please take the time to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now we're just going to remove them from the oil and we're going to wrap the sausages in a slice of cheese. You wanna do this with all of the sausages until they look something like this. This is so easy. You guys have to try it today. There's no excuse not to try this recipe. If you have sausages, cheese, potatoes, you're good to go. Now, once they look something like this, I flattened some of the mashed potatoes on a wooden board that I had covered in some baking paper. The baking paper actually prevents the potatoes from sticking to the board and makes rolling the potatoes around the sausages so much easier. You just want to roll the sausages up in the mashed potatoes as shown and shape them into a kind of log shape and then continue with the rest of the sausages. Each sausage has around three quarters of a cup to around one cup of mashed potatoes around them. You can make the layer slightly thinner if you prefer, but you do want an even coat to make sure everything is completely covered. Now we're going to dip the sausages in some beaten egg and then cover them in panko breadcrumbs. Once you've covered them in the breadcrumbs, we're just going to place the skewers back inside of the sausages and then we're going to freeze them for around five to 10 minutes. The reason why I freeze these for around 5-10 to 10 minutes, it could be up to half an hour and I do this with all of the products that I fry or deep fry is so that they are slightly firmer and they actually keep their shape when, once you actually put them in the oil. If they're too soft they'll break apart once you put them in the oil and we really don't want that after going through all of that effort. Now we're going to heat an inch of oil to 175 degrees Celsius. We're going to fry these corn dogs for around five minutes on all sides until they're evenly golden brown and it should look something like this. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? It really does make all the effort worthwhile. It's so, so good. At this point, because the sausage is already cooked into the middle, um, you don't really have to go crazy and fry it for too long. Three to four minutes is usually enough. Once you cut it open, it will look something like this. And at this point, we're just going to top the corn dogs with some mustard and ketchup. But again, it's entirely up to you. You can use barbecue sauce, um, sour cream, whatever you want. And you just want to serve these piping hot so all that cheese oozes out which is perfect. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. Much love and have a good one. Bye.